Hi, Gillian. This is um, Gillian Ralston, our artist, and I'm just changing the view so we get more of Gillian. My name is Fleur Allen. I'm the founding director of Out of the Box Biz Art. Now, Gillian Ralston um, and I have been working to get together originally in my um, online art gallery, Interactive Arts, and now she's game enough to continue the journey <laughs> after many years in our other entity now called Out of the Box Biz with our art division. So welcome, Gillian. Thank you, Fleur. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a brand new work called Tea Time that I'm really excited to see. Um, and for, to hear you um, share the experience of creating it. Um, well, I'm a little bit of a um, tea, tea addict and um, I've got a few different teapots and so because tea is, uh, and teapots are one of my favourite things in life, I decided one day that I would um, start painting a series of teapots. So this was the first one that I did. Fantastic. and. Um, I um, decided to do them on paper or do some on paper and I'll eventually get some on um, canvas as well. But also included in the painting, I have um, used different types of paper as well to create the textures because if anybody knows my work, they know that I like having a lot of texture in um, my paintings. So I've used um, some handmade papers and lacy papers I've also used um, paint um, inks and a bit of charcoal in there as well, different mm -hmm. mediums just to create some interest in the um, painting. Um, yeah, so that's how that one came about. And um, the flowers that I've used in there, I was hunting around um, in different shops and came across these, this particular uh, flower. So I thought that the shape of the flower goes quite well with my cast iron teapot. Yeah, so can we have, it's just <laughs> difficult to see the image. Do you want to just um, give us a little shot of the painting and the teapot there? Um, just okay, come so out a little bit further. Yeah, there you go. It's hard to see because it's all reflecting. So gillian has got this on display just in a temporary frame. Um, the work is available um, for sale and it won't obviously have that reflection of Gillian's phone with my face in the middle of <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll put a link of the photograph of the work <laughs> um, and so this work is as Gillian says on paper but it's unframed and we're just using this temporary frame um, for display purposes um, so that's to give whoever decides to own the work some freedom in choices of how they'd like it to be presented and framed um, so they can coordinate it with their home or style of um, where they're wanting it to hang. Um, so Gillian, tell us more about your obsession with tea because I love tea as well. I gave up coffee myself personally about four years ago so I'm a little bit tea obsessed as well. So is it caffeine tea? Is it all different kinds of teas? Um, it's all different kinds of tea. Uh, I, I do occasionally have a coffee, but um, tea is the beverage that I go to to start my day and to finish my day as well. <laughs> and, um, so I will drink different types of teas. I will drink herbal teas and floral teas and fruit teas. And, so um, any tea, really. <laughs> and this cast iron teapot, is it a particular type of tea or occasion or mood or when, well, we, when do you choose this one? Well, this one is my morning morning pot um, where I just have my normal black tea in there so that I have my milk. The tea, cast iron teapot was actually gifted from my husband. He does feed my addictions, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> and, Wise man. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've got some little ceramic teapots. I've got a cute little green one that I use for my green tea when I want green tea. <laughs> so I've got different little drinking cups and things like that. So it's a little bit of a, I don't know, it's just a, a little hobby. And I like to drink my teas out of nice um, vessels as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, we are very like-minded, Gillian Ralston. <laughs> Um, so tell me a little bit about your little stash of papers. Um, I 
Oh, yeah. See, that's something else that I'm a bit obsessed with too is paper. <laughs> Should we have called this exhibition Home Obsession Home instead of Home Sweet Home? <laughs> um, I, I, I love paper and there's so many different papers around. Um, and I've had this obsession with paper for years and years and years. There used to be an art paper supply place on um, Stirling Highway uh, about 25, 30 years ago. And whenever I visited Perth, I used to go out there and I would just spend hours looking at all the papers, feeling them, feeling them is a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are, you must be quite um, kinesthetic because you do like a lot of texture in your work. Yes. And, um, you know, there's just so many papers, different papers around, handmade papers, and it's, they're just... It's just exciting, I think, you know. And how have you incorporated it into this work? So you've used inks as well? Yeah, I've used ink. So with some of the um, paper that um, I've used here, the, the texture in the paper, like in the teapot, I'm not sure if you can actually see the texture there in the teapot. With, oh, hang on, there. Yeah. Um, that's created with a paper, which I've just, I've glued on with a, a special uh, medium that I use. And then I've used that to um, also create the texture in the teapot because that my actual teapot has a pattern on it, which is similar to that. So I just sort of used my paper there. Then um, down here is a handmade paper that I collected quite a few years ago. And that has actually got um, bits of leaf and twig and things in there. So when I've come over the top of that with some paint, it's picked up the texture in the um, paper and that, um, you know, it just... Okay, we just lost connection with Gillian, but we're back again. So Gillian was just explaining the use of paper at the bottom of the, the work. Okay, so I think um, we're up to this paper down here. Um, so this, hang on, I'll just try and angle my phone to um, get it at the right. This along here is um, yeah. a handmade paper, which has some um, leaf, leaves and twigs in there. So mm -hmm. when I've come over with the paint, it's actually up the texture of the um, leaves and that in there. And um, so, and I've used the, Black in here is ink. There's other um, inks through there, but and there's also a little bit of charcoal through here as well. Um, so is it giving like a, a water um, colour type effect? Because or not really? Is it um, denser than that? Um, it, it's denser than watercolour, but the background, because um, the way that I've done the background of this, it's kept it soft, like watercolour. Um, yeah, a lot of people. Uh, the watercolour are quite soft. So the background, I've um, got papers and that also in the very background. So that's kept the work underneath soft, like a watercolour, soft and gentle. And then I've just um, created some really strong, intense colours at the for, the for the teapot and the flowers just to give it that sort of, um, I don't know, that edgy edgy feeling. Yeah, and that. it looks like it's giving it some perspective and depth as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, excellent. So this work's going to be um, on display, available for sale um, at Gillian's um, exhibition Home Sweet Home. And that's on the 30th of July we've made it, haven't we, Gillian? Yes, 30th of July. Yeah, um, so three just a short one yeah yeah so from 12 to 3 to have tea <laughs> with Gillian um, so for those people who are keen to see these works they are available for preview online or by appointment prior to the 30th of July um, we would ask those people who are purchasing um, before that date if we can actually have the works available for display for the purposes of the exhibition but more than happy for people to view and purchase prior to um, the actual event. And of course, we'll communicate if though any works have sold. Um, but yeah, it's a great opportunity to come have tea with Gillian, fulfill her obsession with tea, 
and to see these works um, face to face, up close and personal. And we've already had a request because this exhibition is going to be held in Claremont because we wanted a central location just for something different. Um, but we've already had a request for the exhibition to be up um, closer to where Gillian's studio is, um, which is near Joondalup. So depending on the response we get from the Claremont exhibition, we may do a repeat or we may do um, fresh works or different works under the same theme. That is yet to be determined. So <laughs> no promises yet. <laughs> Otherwise, Julie's gonna go, oh, I've got to start painting. <laughs> Um, so we're doing a little mini interview each week leading up to the exhibition. So we're six weeks away um, from the exhibition. Um, so we'll um, do another um, interview next week, um, possibly uh, with one of the tea. We'll continue the tea paintings, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So yep. I'll see you again next week. Okay. Thanks, Fleur. Thanks, Gillian. Bye.